is also taking a number of other steps designed to slow the spread of the coronavirus from closing bars earlier this week to canceling pretty much any big event. Now, he says, if people ignore the need for social distancing, he is not afraid to impose a curfew. News for Jack's reporter Brittany Muller joins us live. Brittany, the mayor's warning comes as the health department reports Duval County's first death. Bruce Mill, good morning. Yes, an 83-year-old man has died here in Duval County. It's unclear how he got the virus, but as mobile testing sites are popping up throughout Jacksonville, Mayor Lenny Curry expects the number of positive cases of COVID-19 to increase. Now, he's hoping that the community takes these restrictions in place, like social distancing, uh, because he could implement a curfew if people aren't taking those that seriously. The latest numbers from the health department show the number of positive cases of COVID-19 has risen to 432 cases in Florida, with one new case here in Duval and four in Alachua, bringing the total to 15 positive cases in Duval, with one death of an 83-year-old man, 11 in Alachua, four each in Clay and St. John's, and one in Nassau. If we don't flatten the curve, which we're taking actions to flatten the curve right now, uh, we could have a curfew, we could have a full shutdown. I don't want that to happen, uh, it, but we, it, this is about our behaviors right now and our behaviors in flattening the curve. I will say this, uh, the anecdotal evidence that I've seen is uh, at least in restaurants and other social places, uh, uh, buildings, people seem to be um, listening to us and taking this seriously. Mayor Lenny Curry says it seems people are listening, but this is about our behaviors to flatten the curve. News for Jack spoke with people in the community to see what they think about having a possible curfew. Um, I don't think nothing is wrong with it because I think he's trying to protect the population and the people so this thing won't spread. I think we should take it serious for our kids and everyone else. Earlier this week, Curry laid out new guidelines and restrictions, including a 50 person limit to certain businesses to help stop the spread of COVID-19 and banning the sale of alcohol between the hours of midnight and 8 a.m. Governor Ron DeSantis announced the closing of all bars and nightclubs for 30 days. Honestly, I think at this rate, um, the coronavirus is pretty much spreading, like regardless of if there is a time we need to be locked into our houses, it's going to spread regardless. People haven't taken the initiative to deal with it up front. They've been a more of a reactive state, and honestly, it's too late for it to stop. Mayor Lenny Curry hasn't given specific details about the possible curfew at this time. Okay, this is a live look at the Prime Osborne Convention Center. We've been out here for hours and haven't seen any cars or residents coming by. So that's a good sign you're listening and and listening to local officials, including the mayor. JSO is out here just in case to turn people away. Okay, so there is no curfew in place, but Mayor Lenny Curry just wants you to take the precautions for your health, your family's health. And he says that you guys are doing a good job. So again, no curfew right now. Reporting live this morning from downtown Jacksonville, Brittany Muller, Channel 4, the local station. Brittany.